Howdy, my name is Anne McCarthy. I'm a developer relations wrangler automatic, and this is the next installment of my series, Connecting the Dots, leveling up with the query loop block. The aim is to show you how different features connect to create real world value. At a high level, this video will touch on the following features, the query loop block, the featured image block, duotone, and more. By the end of the video, I hope you have some ideas for how you can use a query loop block in particular, and how it might both save you some time and help you level up what you can create. So with that in mind, let me quickly set the stage, both in terms of the steps I took before this video and in terms of my current setup. So before I started this video, I exported and import, imported content from a current site. I switched the pages to posts so I could more easily mess around with post excerpts, added in post excerpts for everything. I set colors for the theme. I installed the layout grid plugin, which was in use on my previous site. And I set up WordPress 5.9 beta 4, so I could have access to some new and improved features. So now let's look at my current workflow for a site that I have. So this is a current site that I run and it's all about live chat, which is a whole philosophy I have. You can read about it, letslivechat.com. But essentially it has some live chat starters um, that people can use to have great conversations. And the way I have it set up now is that each of these are actually um, individual pages that offer live chat starters. So you can see them all here. There's a bunch of questions, super easy. This will redirect you back to this page, but all these I have to add individually. So I individually add the title, I individually add this little excerpt, I add the image, I then link the image to the page, on and on and on. You can kind of see where this goes. So right now, this is how it's set up. I'm pretty simple, pretty basic, but it's a perfect candidate for the query loop block. And so right now, rather than taking a bunch of steps where I have to publish the page, I have to edit this page every time I do it, um, I have to add in an excerpt, manually link the image. Um, I'm gonna show you how I can actually streamline this and also level it up with some cool new features. All right, so now that you have a sense of my current workflow, let's put the pieces together and have fun while we're at it and kind of show off how I can both recreate what I did on this current site and add in some new fun features with an easier workflow. So this is a new test site. As you can see, the background matches the other site. I have the filler text right here. I've imported the contents. So I'm just going to add the query loop. And per usual, you'll see these different options. I'm going to stick with this one. We'll start with this one. From there, I'm going to increase this to show 10. Um, I'm also going to make it full width. You should do this twice just to make sure you get the full. Oops. There we go. Full width again. There you go. From there, I'm going to select the overall and switch to grid. What this does is it allows me to see um, the items in a grid, and I'm going to change this rather than um, three columns to two columns. And at this point, you'll see I'll scroll through. You'll see all the different posts laid out, and this is very quick. So I've hardly done anything, and I already have this re recreated pretty easily. I'm going to turn this off. I don't want this to be a title. Um, from there, let's see if I can actually uh, look at what this looks like for now. So this is just within a couple of seconds. I've already recreated this page. So now let's look at the front end of the site. So as you can see, it looks pretty similar. Need to remove some of it, refine, center this stuff, but let's actually um, go back now and start refining and see if we can actually level it up as we go. All right, so now that we're back in the editor, let's actually remove some of the stuff that I don't actually want. So for example, I don't really want the, tape, the date to show. Don't really need the separator. Um, I don't really need to include a read more link, but I do want this image. I want to make sure, yep, link to post so I can toggle that on and off. I want to make sure that's in place. Um, this looks a little bit too big compared to what I want. I'm going to switch through the different options, which is pretty fun. Feels too small. I'll switch it back to 24, 22. We'll switch it back to 20. So from here, I can also just quickly center these items and this centers it everywhere. So as you can see, as I'm doing this, it centers it all over. And so at this point, it's looking pretty good. Now, what if I go a step further? And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to leveling up, um, both in terms of the actual design. So being able to actually edit the design of these things and have all of them update at the same time, which is really neat. But then I can also do things like add duotone. So maybe I wanna add a shadow and now it matches the cool um, text around uh, any link that I have, it'll match that color. Maybe I want it to actually match the background that I have going right now. Maybe I'll do that instead. 
So you can see all these different options and I can also add my own custom option as well. So if I wanna drag this around, I could create my own custom, um, you know, blue if I wanted to. And also just switch it back here. Um, I can even add a highlight. So I want it to be darker, inverted, that kind of cool look. Um, I could do that as well. So it's looking pretty good. Um, let's go a step further though and actually edit this. I'm gonna set this to 600. I'm gonna update it and let's actually look at the page now. As I scroll down, you'll see it's a bit boxier. This links again, this font size looks really good after the changes I made. It's all centered. And as I scroll, looks really cool. And I have this easy duotone filter that I added. And better yet, if I add any new post here, it'll show up. So now to go even further, let's say I only want the most recent post to show. So I can select the overall query, open it here, and see how it says newest to oldest. I could also say, you know what, actually make it easier for people to find them. I'm gonna do A to Z and it'll automatically update them um, based on what I want, which is super cool. So if I wanna have, you know, uh, a section that's like uh, header, here are the newest um, live chat starters. I can do it super easily by just selecting the query loop or adding a new one even um, and changing it to order by newest to oldest. And now all of a sudden without doing anything, I am showing my latest um, live chat starters and any new one I create will be added here automatically, saving me extra time editing and actually upgrading these things. And then it, let's say I get tired of the duotone filter here, I can change it, I can switch it up whenever I want, switch up the design to my liking. All right, so just for fun, I kept tweaking. And now this is the current view of what this looks like. So I added in, I moved around where the post exit is. I added in um, an actual button in case people want to select start live chatting and get linked to this. The image still links as well. I made it a bit larger. I made it full width and I added a beautiful duotone filter that matches this link here. Now let's see what happens since this is actually sorted so that it will show the latest. Let's, let me show you what happens whenever I add a new live chat starter and how I don't need to edit this page at all, which stands in contrast to my current workflow. So here I am in my pretend YouTube live chat starter. Um, it's just a new post. I added in an excerpt. I have tagged it with live chat starters, which is what the query block is pulling from is that same category. So at this point, I'm just gonna publish it. All right, now we're back to the same live chat starter page, got the latest and greatest. I'm just gonna refresh this page. Boom, YouTube live chat starter, discuss your favorite counts, early video memories and more. Start live chatting with the featured image I showed automatically added in without me doing anything. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna stay in touch, you can find me at nomad.blog. I have a contact form there or I'm at Anzazu on Make Slack. Either way, I hope this showed you and gave you some inspiration for how you can use some of the newest features currently in WordPress and some of the ones coming up in WordPress 5.9 set to release on January 25th, 2022.